Hello, my friend. If you're struggling with the idea that you're kind of unseen in the universe and that nobody is really interested in you and that nobody is really giving you what you need and that the world isn't adjusted to what you need and is never really going to do for you what you want it to do for you, then my friend, you are still in a pre-Copernican geocentric universe. What that means is that you still believe that everything turns around your planet Earth and that if it isn't turning around your planet Earth in the way that would be good for you, then there is something desperately wrong with that world. When in fact, as we know, we need the Copernican revolution, which brings into sight a heliocentric universe, where we become aware that the Earth turns around the sun and not the other way round. And that you and I and everyone else in this world are nothing but planets in the universe. We are not suns. We are just planets. And you know what that means, don't you? It means that nothing turns around you. You have to become aware that you get all your energy, all your insight, all your ideas, all your life projects, all your sense of direction from what is at the center, which is life itself. So life is not going to look out for you, but it's going to expect you to look out for it and to learn how to stay in your particular way of circling around it. And the fact that each and every one of us circles around the sun in our own different way means that we never run into each other in a completely obliterating way, but it is also very difficult to be on parallel path and to find ways to communicate across that essential divide. So if you're unhappy about your orbit around life, around the sun as it were, then you are capable of shifting your orbit a little bit Unlike the Earth or unlike the other planets, we do have a margin of freedom to move ourselves slightly in a different way so that it suits our lives better. We can make changes in our lives, in other words, and we have a bit of willpower. But if we don't accept that it isn't us that matter, as I've said before, but it is life that matters, then we're going to be barking up the wrong tree all the time. We're going to be expecting things to orbit around us rather than being content to go through the cycles of life that are inevitable and to meet the laws of life that are inevitable and to learn how to work with those, make the most of those, and actually enjoy our passage on this earth where we are in that position. So stop being geocentric, egocentric or anthropocentric 
and start being heliocentric and existocentric, if you like, or biocentric better, centered around life. So, my friend, open your eyes, start seeing how things actually work, and stop expecting that you will be different to anybody else and that life should accommodate to what you desire in the world rather than you having to learn to work with the balance of things as they are. And that, my friend, is not a bad thing. It is a good thing because it means there is something to learn and this is what you're here to do. You have to learn to work from your particular concentric circles around life and in life and to make something of value of that. And all of us can do that but we have to figure out what we're good at, where we are and how we can change things around to make it easier for us to stay in orbit and to value life and to receive all the gifts that life is giving us. Wishing you that clarity, that courage to see things as they really are, instead of doing special pleading or carrying on thinking you are exempt from these discoveries and you can push things forward as you want them, I wish you clarity and peace when you figure it out. Because that feels good, my friend. And it also takes some of the burdens of your shoulders as well. Take care and have enjoyment in that process of discovery.